Hey there guys, welcome to the long overdue next part of Time Splitters Future Perfect. Yes, I know I'm way late with this and I planned on doing this video like three times in the past week, but I just never got around to doing it, but here it is. The Brotherhood of Ultra Science is growing every day. Our research is unfettered by ignorant moral restrictions. The goal is all that matters. Unfettered by moral restrictions? Sounds like a clear admission of illegal research techniques to me. Another research lab. Looks like Crow's still chasing his dream of eternal life. This doesn't explain how he learns to time travel, though. I guess our best bet is to ask him. At gunpoint. Isn't that always the best way of asking people something if you really, really, really want to know something? Other than perhaps, like, giving him electric shocks if they refuse to answer? That also worked pretty well. Not that I have any personal experience with torturing people, but, you know, I saw it on TV once. Yeah, let's uh, go with that. Anyways, here there are some wacky spider robots that really are no match for us. There's no way to bypass this. We need to steal a security pass from someone. Remember, anyone expressing doubts about our project should be reported to your superior immediately. Be vigilant at all times. Serve the cause and you will be rewarded. Sounds like Crow really has some sort of totalitarian regime going on around here. This looks like living quarters. Maybe we can catch someone who's off duty and steal their security pass. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Kill the spider bots. I'll keep watch. Okay, we'll go check in here. This had better be worth it. Oh, there seems to be a locker room. I had a test subject explode on me this morning. It's all in my hair and everything. Huh. Yesterday, I injected this guy, and his eyes glowed yellow and all the lights went out. When they came back on, he was dead. Weird. You sure all this stuff is safe? I heard rumors about things happening in other labs. Hmm. Not expressing doubts about the project, are we? No. 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 Of course not. My loyalty to the Brotherhood is absolute. Better not have doubts about the project, or they'll come and get you when you're asleep. And I think we picked up a security card when I was talking, so yeah. You found a pass card? Well, open up the room! Let's take a look! Not so impatient woman, I'll do things at my own leisure. Or leisure. Or whatever the hell you pronounce that. Okay. Hmm. This looks like someone's living quarters. A uniform, an ID card, and an injector. What's that gonna do m for me? Knowledge is power, and we are learning more and more. Soon we will live forever and take our place as rulers of humanity. I can't see that dart gun being much use. Why not? Darts hurt. I mean, not as much as bullets, but being shot with a dart still hurts. Nice disguise. You should be able to pass for one of them, but I'm gonna have to sneak along behind you. Remember, your name is Gordon. Now lead on, Doctor. Okay, so I'm a doctor whose name is Gordon in a laboratory full of freaks. Could this perhaps be a Half-Life reference? I wouldn't really know because I never played any Half-Life game, but it may very well be possible. Okay, in here we go. Wait, I'll be spotted immediately if I go in there. You'll have to deal with the guards and disable the security for me. Welcome you better not try and ditch me. Eugenics Research Facility. I hope you make many new discoveries today. Good evening, Doctor. I'm afraid you'll have to wait a few minutes. We have a lockdown situation in progress. It's nothing to worry about, just a small problem in one of the labs. Why not check email or something while you wait? You know, this is the third lockdown this week, and I see they're recruiting more guards again. Oh, relax. These doctors are smart. They know what they're doing. This place is perfectly secure. Except I managed to break in here without that much difficulty. Okay, a rail bot, huh? Uh, email. Due to a shortage of test subjects, the bounty on Lada nah, not important. Not to take materials home from the labs, yada yada. Nothing interesting. Let's go with, uh, can we... And we'll go with Railbot Control. Hey, Uh-oh. Guess we done it now. We blew our cover. Except this Railbot thing is really good at taking out the guards. 
I need you to turn off the detector. I don't know. Uh, turn off the detector. How do we do that? Memo. You know someone stronger than uh, Nothing really too important. Okay, how do we turn off this? Hmm. I think that did it. Alright then. Sterilization procedure. Uh, we're not in lab th Ooh, time disruptor grenades. Sweet. What's going on in there? Nice to see crows keeping up his excellent safety record. This is far worse than we suspected. I would say this research poses a threat to national security. I have to find out exactly what they're doing. Okay, so I'm guessing Amy is perhaps like some kind of FBI super secret agent or something. With the whole national security stuff. Eh, whatever. These labs are safe. If I remember the layout, we need to get through this door. Status. Unacceptable. Please walk through the air shower in lab 4 before proceeding. You go down there and see if you can secure the area. I'll keep a look up here. I'm not sure if we're allowing anyone into the sterile area at the moment. You'll have to check with Dr. Fergal. She's down the other end there. Or we could just shoot him in the head and go through the thingy anyway. But no, let's just go see this Dr. Fergal person, because we're supposed to be in disguise. Hello, Doctor. Forgive me, we have so many new faces in here. I'm afraid we're not allowing anyone past this point at the moment. A small situation has developed, but it should be under control soon. Perhaps you'd like to discuss techniques for negating gangrenous and attenuating nephrotic degradation while we wait. Just run, Cortez. Just run. Lols. I'm guessing that's not really a subject that Cortez can really add to a discussion about. Oh crap. What do you mean you're too clever to die? You egocentrical. Full of yourself pompous ass. But whatever. Any more guards? Hmm, Amy's taking them all out for me. Oh, there's one. This machine gun makes a really annoying squeal. I really don't like the sound that this thing makes when you fire it. Okay. This should be no problem to hack. You go first, and I'll follow after you. Sure, let me be the guinea pig. What can possibly go wrong? Sterilizing. Sterilizing. Okay, we didn't die. I found a lab coat. I'm gonna get changed in the shower. Don't even think about peeking. Aww. There's not even anything to see. I mean, she just pops out the other end in disguise to... immediately. Yeah. I know all you pervs wanted to see something there, but unfortunately, you don't. Sterilization levels acceptable. To all R&D employees in sectors 5 through 9, please back up and shut down all current experiments and work and return to the living quarters. Leave these two to me. Hey, didn't you guys hear that? All the experiments are cancelled. I'm out of here in five minutes. I can't wait to get out of here and have a shower. I got plasma all over my arms earlier on. I should be issued a biosuit. Why are they shutting down all the research in five minutes? I suspect there's something suspicious behind that. And what's up with all these bald female guards? They're kind of creeping me out. I mean, girls should never be bald. It's just odd. I mean, that's like the one thing that makes them feminine, long hair and stuff. I mean, I don't really know that many short-haired girls. I mean, short-haired girls are usually... Eh, let's not go there. Oh, thank God! You've got to help! Mutants have broken out! They're overrunning the whole facility! I've got this serum. It should kill them if delivered via a dart gun, but I'm, I'm no soldier. Here, take the serum. Please, destroy the mutants! I'm gonna find somewhere to hide. An anti-mutant serum? I guess that's good news. And bad news. Ah, so what a fuss about a few mutants. Wonder about okay. Keep firing! Alright, Ah, so the Darth gun is going to have some use. But holy shit, there's mutants running around here. And I don't think they're the good kind of mutants like the X-Men. I think they're the bad kind of mutants like genetic freaks that are going to kill everyone like in bad horror movies. 
Uh, who's? Oh, there's some guards. My machine gun kills you all. Okay, looks like Bones, I can this one's yours. Of the this must here. be the this is the proof I the need. On them. Crow away. Uh, yeah, sorry, I can't make that out either. I mean, who the hell starts talking through each other? It's like Anya, Amy, and probably one of the security guards or something. It's like whoa, whoa, one at a time, people. And yeah, this is the dispersion gun. It's kind of like a shotgun that shoots air blasts. I know it's weird. Oh, we picked up a flamethrower. Now that is swell. Well, I'm getting out of here. Hey, it's him. Uh oh, guard. Fortunately, the injector gun doesn't really do anything on guards. But it does kill these mutants in one hit, and they explode in a shower of blood. Almost like in No More Heroes. And yeah, these mutants kind of look like just normal guys with... I don't know, they kind of look part time splitter. And yeah, you see the injector doesn't work on regular people. Because I shot that guy full of darts when he was still up. So that might just be because of his thick bio suit. And wow, those mutants killed the guards with a single punch. Ah, crap. You might want to stay back when they explode, because that can really damage you. So, yeah. Flamethrower for the win! Man, not even fires... Oh. Or was that just because I hit him with an injector dart? Yeah, those guys really are part-time splatter. So maybe this is like where Crow first started making time splitters, maybe? Crow's talent seemed to lean more towards ending lives rather than prolonging them. Heh, <laughs> good find, Anya. That's completely true. Cleansing in progress. Uh doesn't look like it. Remain calm. The situation is under control. The Brotherhood of Ultra Science grows day by day. Good. Sounds like Crow's still here. Yeah, we can totally go and get him. Also, there's no more mutants around here, so that makes me very happy, because those things were scary as hell. Even though they're rather easy to kill. I mean, all it takes is one measly injector dart, and they go, what the fuck, boom. Uh, where do we go? That door, maybe? Nope, that's locked. Hmm... Um, Oh, maybe down here. Locked. Is there like any of these doors that open? Uh, oh crap. No one sneaks up on me from behind. What's this do? Master lock. Oh, that opens all of the doors. Nice. Sweet body armor. Hope there's some health out here as well. What's that do? Probably grenades, but I don't really have... That doesn't really have any use to me because I already have five. And health pack. Totally awesome. Holy crap. Where did they come from? Pretty sure I killed all of the guards when I was back here. Maybe they just showed up when I was downstairs. Game over, oh well. Man. Game, Game over. over, man. The freaks are coming. I think that was like a quote from Doom or something. Don't really know because I haven't played Doom. You know, I really haven't played many of the so-called all-time gaming greats. Like, I haven't played Ocarina of Time. I haven't played Doom. I've never played a Sonic game. Well, I played Sonic Heroes, but that was kind of meh. Average. At best. Okay, we need to kill all the mutants. That's no biggie. I mean, they're really easy to kill. Oh. Crap. This isn't science they were doing here. It's Guard battery. on fire. Now that's hot. And that's a bad joke. <sighs> okay, these guys are obviously still sleeping. So we're killing freaks while they're sleeping. I mean, if you have to go out, then why not go out in your sleep? That way you won't really notice it. Unless, of course, if you violently explode like those guys. But who violently explodes when they die? Apart from, uh... Whatchamacallum, the Cobra unit from Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. Crap, crap, crap. Where's the freak? 
He's behind me, isn't he? Or did he blow up? I don't know. I didn't see him blow up, but I didn't see him attacking me either. Let's just say he's dead. That's a safe bet. And... Health pack. Give me that. And armor. Swell. At least now we can stand up to the freaks a bit longer. Why do creatures with incredible strength, toughness, and ability to control energy always have to be bent on destruction? Yeah, that is true most of the time. And hey, look, another wormhole. Time for multiple Cortez fun. Welcome to the Eugenics Core facility. Dual key security system is now active. Please identify yourself. Pretty fancy. I said, identify yourself. Identify Whoa, yourself. Whoa, keep your head on, computer lady. Identity compliance failure. Alarm state alpha engaged. Countermeasures deployed. Damn it. Ah, grab that terminal and hack the access code. I'll deal with the real guns. Damn, screen locked. Don't sweat it. Password's banana. Concentrate on hacking this terminal. Your future self will deal with the defense systems. Oh, great. Puzzle solving. It's one of these things again. Kind of like No More Heroes 2 with a pipe connecting. Don't worry. Next time you get to do the fighting. Oh, sweet. Next time I get to do the fighting. That's... Um... Oh, done already. Cortez, this security system is based on a dual-key algorithm. Each terminal must be simultaneously decrypted in order to proceed. Cortez, do you realize what that means? Ah, keep it going. I'll take the other terminal. Warning. Warning. Maximum permitted room occupancy exceeded. Alarm state ah. beta engaged. Extreme countermeasures deployed. Bring it on! Okay, with both terminals being hacked at once, this should work. Just keep it up, your other selves can handle the defenses. Whoa, four Cortezes, kinda like Zelda Four Swords Adventures, that's fun. I know it sucks, I had to do it twice too. Me too, and me! Okay, let's just get this terminal working. Now oh, there's green, blue and red thingies to connect now. And we're on a strict time limit. And the blue is really too dark to make out on my tiny screen. Uh, I think I got the blue one all set up, or maybe not. Um, yeah. Let's just focus on the red one. Okay, I think I got the red one figured. Now all we need is the green one. Uh, okay, I failed the blue one, but we can still fix that, right? Come on, there we go. Cortez, I think it's time for you to go. Yeah, just waiting for the door to open, then I'm out of here. No, Cortez, the wormhole! Where do you think all these other yous came from? <laughs> just kidding, I know. How'd you worry, though? <laughs> Pretty fancy. Uh, grab that terminal and hack the access code. I'll deal with the real guns. Damn, screen locked. Don't sweat it. Password's banana. Okay, now we're Cortez number two. Time to take out these rail guns. With the squealing machine gun that makes my ears bleed. Come on. Okay, that's that one. And I think there's only two rail guns, so that really should not be too hard. Come on, hold still. Did we get him? I think we did. Yeah, we did. Okay, two more Cortezes show up. What, the real guns are still... Oh. Yeah, forgot about those things. Okay, machine gun's empty, so we'll have to resort to the air pump shotgun. Oh, sweet. More ammo for the SBP-500. Such a typical gun name. Any more? Or was that about it? Yep. I think that's it. Okay, time to go. Keep it going. I'll take the other terminal. Time for a little keyboard magic. Uh. 
Passwords lollipop. Sweet. Bring it on. This time you're number three. You have to hack this second terminal. Oh man, not this again. I don't like this. You have to complete the chain or it'll cause a paradox. To complete the chain or it'll... We're all paradoxed. Is paradoxing a verb? I'm pretty sure it isn't. Yeah, I'm trying to work as fast as I can, but this isn't really very easy. I'm not that great at solving puzzles. Okay, I think that's the red one. Now all that's left is the blue. Yeah, flip that up and there we go. That's it. Oh, sweet, we only have to do one of those. That's nice, rather than two. Passwords lollipop. What kind of passwords are these anyway? Banana lollipop. Okay, now we need to take out the spider bots, even though we already did that when we were Cortez number two. So I'm guessing Cortez number two is not very competent. Dispersion ammo. Okay. Though I'm not really gonna use that gun because it kind of sucks. I think. Come on, Railgun, I will take you out too, even though that's not my target at all. That's the other Cortez's target, but apparently he's doing a pretty lousy job at it. And yay, we're done. Having fun? <laughs> what a cool bunch of guys. You did it! Great job. I can't believe there wasn't a simpler way, though. What kept you? Come on! Uh, where did she go, and how did she end up here? And when did she stop following us? Okay, we're in some sort of hangar now. Holy crap, it's Crow. Come on, come on, I hey. want to nail this guy. Whoa, whoa, keep your pants on, lady. Yeah, that could really be seen as a big-ass innuendo, what she just said. Oh, well. So apparently he's shielded like a freaking destroyer droid. Crow security droids. Well, that shouldn't be too hard, I mean... Okay, if you hit him a couple times, they go spinning around like freaking crazy things. And I'm pretty sure I can't hit them with this. So we'll have to resort to the bloody handgun. Oh, how low we've sunk. We've sunken... whatever. Oh, we're done. Swell. Okay, I'm guessing that's the end of the stage. Sweet. Yes, it is. These stages just keep on getting longer and longer. I'm sure. New character, Dr. Amy, which is pretty much Amy in her doctor's uniform. Alright, now up next is the ending cutscene for this chapter. And it's a pretty damn good one, so I'm just going to leave you guys here, and I will see you in the next part of Time Splitter's Future Perfect. Hold it right there, Crow! Hand them over! Hey, hand what over? The time device, the crystals! What are you talking about? Don't play dumb with me, Crow. I know everything. I know you used the time device to travel back to 1994 and tell your younger self to carry on your twisted genetic experiments using the power of the time crystals. Really? Really? Well, uh, yeah. Hmm. And exactly where do I get this time device? Don't be alarmed. It's me, your younger self. I've come from the past to give you this time device. You must take it and... Uh, I think I know the rest. Ah, well, okay then. It's the red button. <laughs> Ta-ta! I'm off to live forever! <laughs> Cortez? What? Doesn't that robot look familiar? Yeah, it looked a bit like an old R100 series. Cortez, they didn't start making those until the robot wars. Almost 200 years from now. That must be an early prototype. Yeah, you're right. I looked it up, and the company that made them was Ultranet, a weapons company founded by Jack Crown. 
So? So look at his picture. Crow! Right! Of course. The younger Crow must have jumped even further into the future to continue his research, knowing that eugenics would eventually be compromised. You got a location? Sort of. It looks like Ultranet was a whole complex of buildings. I can drop you in the area, but you'll have to find Crow's lab by yourself. No problem. I think I can take it from here. Right. All set, Cortez. But be careful. There's a war going on. <laughs> I'm ready!